Hi everyone and welcome to a new uh, unpackaging video. This one arrived um, like a week ago, but I've only been now able to find some time to open it. came with DHL but interestingly even though I used my new address they sent the package to my old address this package is worth less than 150 euros in total because it's the limit of things you can import in Turkey through customs and I'm sorry for the echo too for some reason this room has an interesting echo I think I need to open the windows when I'm recording videos This one is a 140, 1000 for the bracelet and without the end links. And the condition is very, very good. And I think I bought this as a donor or to swap with a problematic bracelet because most bracelets have some corrosion. And then this one is pristine. This one is a ladies. C case um, bracelet. Uh, I think I got this for something like ten dollars, maybe less than ten dollars. These ones I like a lot. Uh, they are, I think, Chrono Stop uh, bracelets um, or straps. And this is a deployment clasp, not deployment clasp, but <laughs> basically a strap clasp combo. And at $20 it's an incredible price. Now this was an interesting uh, package of straps. But before this, let's open the watch. This I got for I think 60 or 50 dollars. I'm pretty sure the watch is going to work, but even if it doesn't work, it will be an interesting exercise in dial restoration. And I got a buckle here too. It's a Japanese buckle, but still. Nice buckle. Uh, it's a nice hobnail dial that's uh, going to become a bit of a spider dial. Now I bought this uh, to restore the edges, uh, as the as in the photos the edges uh, lost its paint. But as I see, the edges don't have a problem, and what I saw was. Uh, battery spill uh, staining so I thought bought this to restore the dial but I guess I made the assessment wrong very curious about what's inside
it's interesting to make clean so once the once the case is cleaned i think it's going to be an incredible watch the hobney dial is actually a pattern on the dial itself it's like an l-shaped pattern it's not a real three-dimensional hobney dial but rather uh, something like an engraved dial I, i've never seen a dial like this one before it's not three-dimensional Just, it's like an enamel dial engraved with a laser engraver before being printed. So let's set this one set here. Now this is this was an incredible purchase. The straps are pretty nice. I mean, I didn't bought them for the straps, but. This is pretty nice. I hope this is 12 millimeters. Yes, it's 12 millimeters, so it will. I think I can put this on my ladies' C cases. Now, this one is nice. It's like a buckle. I think I paid something like 80 or 70 dollars uh, for this batch of straps. This one, I hope it's 12 mm. Yes, it's 12 as well, so another ladies case uh, step maybe. This is 18 millimeters. A used strap, but still a nice one. I think this is another 12, yes. And this is a 16. Anyway, this is why I bought this um, batch of straps. It's an 18 carat uh, Omega buckle, I hope. I've never seen these faked before. And from the weight, I believe it's indeed 18 carats there is no stamp as far as i see on the pin itself but the buckle definitely is a way to it thank you for watching and i hope I'm going to move on to a different format soon, uh, getting, um, maybe reviewing uh, nice and rare C cases. Oh, before I forget, I have some other environments as well. This is a perfect case, 18 karat gold case, C case. I got it for uh, a bit over matte value uh, from Germany, and the seller was very kind. This I got almost a year ago. It's a diamond dial, and it's in incredible shape, and almost unused. There are no noticeable deep scratches or wear on the watch. And this one I am most excited about. Not going to show the dial yet, but there's a very special serial inside. And I believe this could be a prototype C case, maybe the first C case made. And there's a special dial inside as well. Mm, so I'm going to dedicate maybe one or two episodes to this watch mm, on my new approach. Recently I moved to a different place and I have a new setup. 
so not everything is in place yet it's a bit work in progress and my backlog for um, servicing and cleaning watches is quite high so probably uh, maybe five or six episodes is going to be just working through watches and stuff and later on i'm going to do some more close-ups and maybe stories on watches instead so it's going to be a more colorful direction anyway thank you again and have a good day